Hello and welcome to Sunshine Haze. I'm Aja A. As you see tarot cards on your screen, you know it's time for a new moon reading. Um, with that being said, these are kind of hella late. Couple weeks in, we're now kind of around the full moon. But um, if you're used to watching my videos, you know that I put up readings for um, the lunar cycle. So we're talking mid-September to mid-October. So these are spanning over the course of the month. So this is for the new moon in virgo for the virgo lunar cycle if you want to know more about what that energy means um on a general level go on and check out that video i do have a link down in the description box to a playlist with that video as well as links to your um moon or rising sign if you feel like what i'm saying in this video doesn't resonate with you that means that this video is not for you so go on and check out your moon or rising sign it may have that message for you this time around okay um we're gonna go on and just get started <laughs> this video is for my Taurus people, um, Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising. Um, and as usual, we're doing just the typical um, new moon spread. So uh, looking at the energy for you guys during this time, looking at any crossing energies. And because we're dealing with your sister earth sign Virgo, going to be looking at where you can, um, any new habits that you need to need to form. And then also where you can have a little bit more organization or practicality in your life. And then as always, as always, I do. A little soul message something extra for you to take away from this reading with you okay i'm gonna just go on and shuffle these cards and then i'll start pulling for you guys go on and cut the deck i'm not used to sitting on the ground when i do these readings um actually used to being above my reading areas this is kind of weird but <laughs> it's interesting too and i will go through all of these cards oops sorry i'll go through all of these cards one by one. Ooh, interesting okay <clears throat> here we go and shuffle this back now it's popping for taurus taurus sun taurus moon taurus rising during the virgo lunar cycle mid september to mid october Crossing energies with the deck and also new habits that Taurus should be forming. Where do they need more organization, more practicality? flipped right there Taurus that is the four of Pentacles that's a card about having stability and having control over your foundations and having everything in alignment so let's see what's going on oh and you've got the seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck too so let's see like you've maybe you've been building towards something let's see let's do it shuffle a little bit a little bit longer Mother of Wands. Have you guys really been building upon something? I don't know. Okay. I think, I think we should go on. Okay, Taurus. And the Three of Cups. Hmm. Looking into building upon things with others, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. All right. We're going to finish shuffling and cut the deck for you because I don't know. I don't know what's popping off here for you guys yet. So let's actually get a reading going for you so i can tell you what it really is right <clears throat> all right crossing energies oh that's interesting that's coming up as your crossing energy okay all right okay none of wands what is that where you need to form some better habits okay and then where to have more organization and more practicality all right <clears throat> let's go on and get this started for you so coming up at the heart of your reading you've got the youth card um the youth card kind of doubles as the full card this is a card all about 
taking new journeys, embarking upon new journeys, taking a leap of faith into the unknown, um, really starting from a place of, you know, just being naive and not really having a lot of knowledge, but understanding that there's something out there that you're you're seeking that you're not getting where you currently are now or within the situation that you're currently in at this particular moment and understanding that in order to change your situation you're going to have to take some sort of action and you can't do it by standing still um this youth card coming up in this position of the energy coming in for you during this virgo lunar season is very interesting because this is an earth moon this is a earth lunar cycle so this has your energy attached to it and it is in your sister sign of Virgo, but Virgo is very practical. Virgo is very analytical. Virgo is all about planning and putting all the details together. So this card coming up in this position underneath this lunar cycle for you, Taurus, I think is saying that you need to tap a little bit into understanding that whatever you may have had planned out for you prior to now or whatever path that you thought you were on may not necessarily be the path that you're about to take. Um, understand that something else could be coming in for you and it may be something that you didn't necessarily see coming um, it may be something completely off the wall for you but with that being said this is saying that although it's telling you to you know embark upon this new journey still tap a little bit into your earth energy still tap a little bit into the planning tap a little bit into you know thinking about okay if I take this step X Y and Z could happen or if I do it this way a B and C could happen but this is saying to not pass up the opportunity. So if you've been presented with some sort of opportunity for change or some sort of transformation or been told about some sort of door opening for you that doesn't necessarily fit the mold of what you're used to doing or what you would necessarily do, don't shy away from it. This is actually the time, Taurus, with this Virgo energy from your sister sign um, to embark upon new journeys with this youth card. This is energy you're supposed to be tapping into but also having stability behind it and being able to create a foundation in whatever new journey you're embarking upon, okay? <clears throat> Coming up in the position of what's crossing you, you've got the Four of Pentacles, and this flipped out in the deck. And this is a card, as I said, of having control, of having stability, of having your shit together, of just knowing everything about what's going on and having your foundations and your seeds firmly planted, right? This is coming up in the position of what's crossing you. And so remember, the energy you're supposed to be tapping into is the youth, this new energy, this new adventurous energy, right? But you've got this four of pentacles crossing it. So what this is telling me, Taurus, is that you guys are very much so resonating within your own energy, your Taurus energy of being very stubborn, be, being very grounded within the plans that you've laid out for yourself. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but during this time, you're actually supposed to be trying something new, doing something different, meeting new people, um, trying your hand at new careers or new trades. You're just supposed to be, you know, exploring life right now. But at the same time, you've got this four of pentacles energy crossing you, which is saying that you're very much so just kind of like, uh, I'm kind of used to this and this is how I want things to play out for me and I know they'll play out for me this way if I stick to this plan so why not stick to this plan this is a crossing energy this is actually something that's keeping you from tapping into this youthful energy so Taurus what I would say for you like I said if you see some things pop up for you that are a little different where you have new opportunities or something Instead of shying away from it because it doesn't fall into alignment with the plan that you've laid out for yourself, understand you've made this plan. So, and you know that this is solid, so you can always come back to this. Try something new for a change. See what you get from tapping into this energy. See what you get from embarking along that new path that you didn't necessarily forge for yourself. See what comes about for you. And if you don't like it, okay, go back to your four of pentacles. Go back to your plan. But something tells me that Tapping into this youth energy will actually put you down a, a really a very different path that brings you some really cool and successful outcomes, right? Okay, coming up on this side, we've got the Nine of Wands, and this is in the position of where do you need to form new habits? And this is coming up after you've got the youth card being crossed by the Four of Pentacles. And the, uh, the Nine of Wands is a card that is connected to the fire element, which is all about action, all about drive, passion, will, and um, making moves on our intentions and our manifestations. The Nine of Wands is a card of hope. It typically comes up when someone's been in a position to where things just 
not necessarily haven't been working out, but where things start to get a little rough or where you're like, uh, I had this goal in sight and then everything kind of like changed, but I still have this goal. I still feel like I can have this work out in some sort of way, um, even if it shifts, depending on whatever the goal is. Um, this card usually comes up to say like this person is going through kind of a rough time having a hard time reaching the end the end of the end goal you know what I'm saying so have some hope understand that you have to keep pushing forward in order to reach those goals in order to you know make it to the points that you wanted to make that you set out for yourself this is coming up and where you need to form some new habits so what this is telling me is that Taurus you may be feeling not necessarily like defeated but like a little distracted, a little pulled away from, you know, like, uh, well, I had this planned out, but it's not working out for me this way. So let me see what else is going on over here. This card is saying like, yeah, no, don't give up necessarily. Understand that things may not turn out just the way that you wanted them to, but understand that they are going to turn out. And with that being said, Taurus, I don't think they're going to turn out if you go according to your plan. I think you have to try something different in order to gain whatever this nine of wands is telling you to keep striving towards. And that may not necessarily be clear for you right now, but you got the judgment card coming up in here. So it's telling me that it will become clear for you. It may not necessarily be clear for you right now, but there is a whole bunch of stuff that you're supposed to learn. When the youth card comes up, it's talking about going along new journeys because there's new lessons that you're supposed to pick up. There's new energies that you're supposed to tap into so whatever this is whatever you're striving towards understand you will reach that goal it may not play out the way that you had it written out beforehand you got to let that go try something different to get to where you're trying to get to okay all right coming up now let's talk about the judgment card coming up in the position of where you need to have more practicality um or have more organization you've got the judgment card um if you are a regular subscriber uh, you know that the judgment card is one of the karmic cards for me this is a card that talks about cycles this is a card that talks about forgiveness this is a card that talks about moving forward um, and letting things go so so cycles transformation endings new beginnings this is a card of cycles and karma for me when I say karma I'm talking karmic cycles so Taurus whatever you've got going on right now if it's not working out the way that you wanted it to work out it's one because it's not supposed to just yet and that's more than likely because there's some sort of lesson that you're supposed to pick up in regards to this. But it can't, you can't pick it up by following this plan that you've laid out for yourself. This judgment card is saying that whatever kind of situations are popping up for you, especially the ones where things are just completely like unknown to you, these things are all happening for a reason. This is another card of divine timing. This is saying whatever's happening for you right now, Taurus, is supposed to be happening because you're supposed to be learning something while you're going down this new path um and as you're learning things you're able to climb up these steps and the further up you climb these steps the further away you get from this four of uh, pentacles this structure that you've laid out for yourself and along this journey you'll pick up the lessons and learn the things and meet the people that you're supposed to meet and do the things you're supposed to do and it's because it's supposed to happen um again whatever you're sh reaching towards you will you will reach that destination it's just not going to happen how you thought it was it's going to happen in a completely different way but this is actually going to be a much better and a more exciting um it's all life is all about the experience so this the the goal you're trying to reach the experience comes through this card it doesn't come through this card um and it's all about releasing the reins and falling into alignment with the things that we're supposed to be doing and the journeys that we're supposed to be on and a lot of times the plans that we've laid out will not necessarily take us down that path okay now this is why i was like oh this is cool this one is interesting you've got the two of air coming up in the position of your soul message and the two of air is a card all about choices and all about duality and all about polarity right um this card when it pops up it's saying that you know there's not necessarily a right way you can go down one path and still reach that goal and then you can go down the other path and still reach that goal it's just the things that you pick up going down the different paths will be different for you and will alter your life in different ways so right now Taurus is all about you know the end goal but what path are you going to take are you going to take the path less traveled and learn some new things and have some new exciting experiences have some stories to tell or to write about or are you going to follow your plan and eventually reach this goal eventually you know 
but not necessarily gain all the experience that you were supposed to gain. It's all about choices, Taurus, and you have one right now. Um, either way, you'll get to where you're trying to get to, but you may not necessarily learn everything you need to learn if you stick strictly to the path that you put in place for yourself. All about trying new things and understand that sometimes even the new thing that presents itself may not seem like this is the, the end or that this is where you'll end up, but sometimes in trying something like that it puts you in the way of doing something like this and then you end up over here and then you're like oh i i still ended up doing what i planned on doing and i learned some new things along the way met some new people did some new shit picked up on some new lessons or whatever so really taurus nothing negative coming out of this spread this is really just about what choices are you going to make what path are you going to take and what experiences are you trying to have in this life um you know, I do talk about like past lives and talk about like connections and ancestral karma and stuff like that. But with that being said, as of right now, for what we truly and honestly do know, we've only got one life to live and that's in the here and now. So what are you going to do with it? Um, my cousin, when I first moved back into town, he had a very, very cool conversation with me in which he was talking about, you know, like I was talking to him about like, you know, how things just shifted and how I had a plan and how it just completely did not play out for me. And then I looked up and saw myself where I was at that exact moment. And he was like, you know, life is all about weird situations. <laughs> and I was like, that could not be more real. But he said, life is all about weird situations. What it comes down to is what are you going to do with it? And he didn't, after that, he didn't say anything else. He didn't give me any advice on, you know, maybe you should go about it like this or go about it like that. He just literally said, like, it's all about what are you going to do with it? You're presented with so many different paths in life and you can take whichever path. And sometimes you do know where it's going to lead you and sometimes you don't. But with that being said, it's all about what path are you going to take? What experiences are you trying to have, Taurus? Okay, so think about it. I hope that this reading provided you with some insight. If you would like some more insight, you are more than welcome to book a reading with me. Um, you can check out my Etsy shop. I have sales going on sometimes. Um, as I said earlier in the video, if you want to know more about what this Virgo lunar cycle entails, go on and check out that video. I've got the link down in the description box. If you like the video, go on and hit the uh, thumbs up button for me down below um what else if you have any taurus friends if you're cross watching for a taurus bay or whatever anything of the sort go on and share this video you guys share my videos all the time um that's actually how i get a lot of growth on my channel i need a lighter <laughs> um and yeah if you what did i say i said like if you have any questions or comments go on and drop them down below i check my channel pretty frequently um and i will get back to you as long as it is positive if it's not i'm just probably gonna delete it um like comment if you're still listening to me talk i don't know how many minutes we are in because this is a very different setup for me <laughs> but if you're still listening to me talk go on and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with when i put out new videos um tarot videos videos about the different lunations retrogrades whatever i'm feeling like um and yeah i think that's it like comment subscribe share i said it all i said it all i dropped the plugs i sure did um thank you guys for watching i will definitely see you guys next time i think the next video that i have coming up would be the i don't know the new moon in libra i think it's the new moon in libra thanks for watching i'll see y'all next time